Audacity 3.2 is finally here, and you know what that means? Real-time effects. So that's right, today Audacity announced that the 3.2.0 beta is now live. So this is a pre-release beta of the new version of Audacity. So you can download this now from GitHub. Um, it's not on the official Audacity website, so you, you're welcome to download it. I'll leave a link in the description below. You might experience a few bugs because it is the beta version, so it's up to you if you want to wait for the final release or not. But I thought I'd just go over, give you a quicker overview of all the new features in this Audacity release, and then we can dive into, um, into how to use them more in depth when it's out officially. So let's take a look on here at the, the big changes. Of course, it's the real-time effect. So it now supports VST plugins, um, which we, you can use in real-time, non-destructively. So if you've used Audacity before, you'll know that to apply an effect, you have to highlight a piece of audio, go into effect, and then pick an effect. So say an EQ or something, do, do your EQing and apply and then that'll be saved onto that piece of audio. So if you do something else after that, you can't go back and change it. And also you can't make changes to the effect on the fly, but now it's gonna work a lot more like your typical DAW where you can change effects on the fly um, on a track by track basis. So I've just loaded up a song here and you can see this effect button here. If you click on that, you can now apply an effect to this one track that won't apply to the other ones. So if you have more tracks, you can apply different effects to each. You can click Add Effect and choose from any of the VST plugins you have. So you, you, you'd need some VST plugins. There are a lot, a lot of good VST plugins available for free now though. But if I just grab an EQ just to show you, it's loading it up and there we go. So that's loaded onto the track. So if I click Play, and make some changes on this EQ. You can see it's in real time. So I can turn, turn this off and on using the bypass button there. There's a bypass button at the top as well for to turn all of the effects on a particular track off, just like in in most other DAWs, to be honest, it's it's been a long time coming. And then you can add add another effect. You can add your compressor, your reverb, whatever you have. Um, there, it's obviously listing it in in manufacturer order. So we've got the Waves plugins there, the Focusrite plugins there, and so on. It does look like there's a way now in preferences to change how they're listed. So in effects, you can change how they're grouped. But this doesn't seem to work for me. Um, I'll have a little play around with it, but I've grouped by type. So I thought maybe it would come up with EQ, compression, and so on, but um, it is in the beta phase. So we'll, we'll see how that works in the future. The next big change, they've tightened up the mixer bars and just the general user interface is, is nicer, a bit cleaner, the, the icons. Um, they've hidden the audio setup. So your device toolbar, you'll see that you can no longer pick from your uh, from your audio interfaces and, and speakers and such. It's just under this big button here, audio setup, um, which just tidies things up. Because I mean, most DAWs, and they don't have this prompt, the device set up so prominently, because once you set it, you just want to leave as it is normally. So you can go into here and make your changes there. Um, and then the next change is this big share audio button, which is interesting. If you click that, it opens up this audio.com uh, web page. So I haven't played around with this yet, but it looks like just a nice, simple way of sharing music. So you click on it and then you can, well, you need an account, but you can just upload a track um, or upload a piece of audio and, and share it with people easily. By Muse Group, the company that do Audacity. So they've they've built this um, presumably and they've grabbed this, this nice URL audio.com. Don't know how they pulled that one off. But those are the main changes. Um, you can see that there are a few other plugin formats that have real-time uh, capability as well. No um, no a AAX or RSA or anything. But um, 
yeah, most most plugins work with VST anyway. And you can see they're making bug fixes all the time. So hopefully it won't be long before this is properly released. There's this other this other changes remove the zoom tool. You can now use the zoom buttons um, or control and scroll. So if I hold control or presumably command on Mac and scroll, it makes things easier and you've got um, you, you've you got this zoom in and, and zoom out. So what they're talking about that they've removed, there used to be a, a tool here with a magnifying glass. Um, you select that and then basically all your controls are, are controlling um, the zoom function, which I never used to be honest. So it's not surprising that they simplified things. So overall, they've added the most important feature that everyone's waiting for, the real-time effects. Uh, and they've just simplified a lot of things as well. Looks like it's going in the right direction. Let me know in the comments section below, are you gonna try out Audacity 3.2.0 beta or are you gonna wait for the final release? And I will be going more in depth in a separate video about using the effects once it's properly released. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.